So a couple of days ago, I did a video going over some tips and tricks for your Roku devices. If you guys have a Roku, Roku TV, Roku box, definitely worth checking out. There's a lot more to the Roku devices than previously thought. So one of the features that I mentioned is that Roku does have the option for you to install third party applications. It does have a developer options, quite simple to get to, and it really changed my perspective on the Roku devices. So before we jump into it, just because I know YouTube will probably flag this, here is a link to the Roku website explaining what developer options are, how it can be used. Essentially, it's used in order to test applications on Roku devices putting that out there. So let's go ahead and jump into the details. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, smash the notification bell. Let's go. All right, so first thing you need to do is make sure that you're on the home screen of your Roku device. That means when you click on the Roku, you select home and you should see the screen right here. So from there, what you need to do from your remote control is select home, 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 up, up, right, left, right left right and you should see this menu right here so this menu is basically allowing developer options guys so it reads the development application installer allows developers to test their own application so enable the installer select enable installer and restart below if you have enabled the installer after your Roku player restarts you can access the installer by pointing a web browser on the same subnet as URL so basically saying that if you're on the same network you put this IP address in your web browser uh, put in your username and you should be able to get into Roku where you can go ahead and install application so let's go ahead and set it up so um you can see my ip address right here is uh 192.168.1.139 so i'll go ahead and i'll write that down of course your ip address is going to be a little bit different and the username is going to be roku dev all right we're going to go ahead and enable all right security warning installing applications from unknown sources may put your device at the data risk by selecting continue agree you're solely responsible for any damage to your device or loss of data that may result from you using these applications hit continue all right we have some more terms and conditions and this seems pretty um intense like overkill we'll go ahead and select agree of course we've read all of it and now it's going to ask you for a password so let me go ahead and i'll just put in a password then i'll come right back set password and reboot let's go ahead and do that So on the web browser, we're going to put in that IP address. All right, we'll give it a second. So we're going to put in that username and password, Roku Dev, put in my password. So from there, you gotta make sure that your Roku is up to date and it does give you instructions. If it's not up to date, you gotta go into your settings, go to software and check for updates. Once you verify that everything's up to date, refresh the page and it should bring you into this area. So from here guys, what you can do is just upload and install your applications and those applications will go directly to your Roku device. So there's two ways to do this guys. I'm gonna show you the first way and then I'm gonna show you the way that actually worked for me. So everyone should have a Roku account once you set up a Roku device. So for instance, you can see I'm logged into my account, says welcome back Melvin, blah, blah, blah. You do have this account if you've set up a Roku device and Roku keep track of all your devices this way. So once you get signed in, you're gonna go to my account. Method one or the first method to do this is to create a channel via the code. Um, for me, like I said, it didn't really make a difference for me, but I'll show you this method anyway. So one way to do it is um, some people that log in, you will see an option under your manage account that says add channel with code. You'll go ahead and add that and then you can put in the name that I'm about to tell you. For other people, um, including myself, the option that I see is add beta app with code. So maybe there's some updates there that makes it show different for some people. But um, if you click on this, you should be able to put in a code for it to work. So for instance, you, so I'm just gonna put an IPTV Smarters, just like that. 
All right, should be pretty straightforward. Click add app. It's gonna give you some mumbo jumbo, agree, just uh, consent that this is a non-certified channel. Roku requires all channels to buy by terms and conditions. So basically just saying install at your own risk. Click okay. There's the app. We're gonna go ahead and add it. So it's gonna tell you that this might take up to 24 hours. Typically it will show up within 24 hours to access the new app, refresh your apps from your home screen um, by visiting settings, system, software update. So let's go switch over to Roku and I'll show you how to do that. Again, if you don't see it pop up here, all you need to do is go to your settings. I'm gonna go to your system and we're gonna go on software update. You can click on that and check now. Um, if this method works, you should see an option that says IP Smarters is updated. So in this case, you can see that it's up to date. So that's one method to do it. Um, the other method is to go over to Roku and update it and install it manually. So the other method is to install it manually via zip file and um, I'll leave a link to where you can go ahead and download it directly to your computer, then upload it to your um, Roku device. So need this file right here. You're going to go ahead and download it. And for me, mine is located in my download. So I'll go ahead and, and navigate to that area. But you want to get back to this on your Roku device. Keep in mind that each individual Roku device, you will have to upload it for the application to show. So for instance, this is just gonna be installed on this Roku stick right here, the one with the 139 IP address. If I had multiple devices, I will need to do this on other devices. So keep that in mind, at least in my case where it seems like the zip file option is the only option that worked. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and upload. I'm gonna go into my downloads, select the IP Smarters app for Roku, it's a zip file, click OK. All right, so you see it right here, guys. So now all you need to do is install with zip. All right, so you can see it saying, please wait. But now if you click over to your Roku device, it starts happening immediately, guys. Installed instantaneously, and you can see it's ready for your login. So let me go back home. All right, go home again. All right, so now if I go down to my applications, you can see I have the app right here. I can open it. I can log in with my credentials. Worked instantaneously. Install right away and it worked instantaneously. So again, this is just the tip of the iceberg. I would like to see more apps become available for Roku's. Um, for instance, a browser application is something that we all been waiting for. Um, other options that will make this more Fire TV, Android Lite, give us more freedom. This will make this device just more attractive in my opinion. In the comments, let me know if this is something you're gonna try out. Also, let me know if you find any new apps that we can go ahead and try out. Maybe I'll go ahead and do an updated video. Of course, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, smash the notification bell. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. So let me know in the comment section if there's something you plan on doing. Let me know if this changes your mind about Roku devices in general. I know for this particular reason, Roku doesn't get a lot of love in the streaming community. But since there's an option to essentially side all applications, will you give Roku another look? Of course, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, smash the notification bell. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.